Hello everyone. Does money buy happiness? I was thinking about this because, you know, I am an author and authors obviously struggle to make money and sometimes authors think, are we doing it for the money? Well, of course I'm not doing it for the money. No one goes into writing hoping to make a lot of money. If money was the main concern, they'd go into, uh, they would go into an industry where it's uh, easier to make uh, large sums. But I will say that when it comes to money making me happy, um, I don't think money can, alone can provide contentment, but I do think that everyone needs a base level in order to uh, achieve happiness to begin with. So, you know, it's always better to be, <laughs> to be depressed uh, wealthy than to, than to be depressed poor. I think most people need enough money where their basic needs are, are taken care of and they can indulge in some of their interests and uh, some of their... Um, their hobbies and desires, but beyond that, a having an excess amount, an excess amount of money, does not uh, uh, bring happiness. Like for example, with me, I would like enough money that I can have a house of my own, where that's my house, not my parents' house, not anyone else's, at my house, and uh, where I can uh, have enough room. I don't want a mansion, but I would like enough room where I can that I can put my stuff in it, that I can. Have for, because right now I have um, in my bedroom, I'm having to use it as an office, as a library, as a movie theater room, and as a, like a, a memorabilia collection movie room. And I'm thinking, yeah, I would like to have a separate room for all of those things. I mean, on a tight budget, I could, I could possibly combine the office and the library and the memorabilia room and the theater room. But I need at least, I would like at least two rooms that aren't my bedroom, you know, at all where I can do stuff, so I'm having to use it for everything. I, I would like a house big enough, you know, where I can do that. I would like, you know, enough money where I could, you know, uh, go out for dinner or, or uh, spend on something frivolous, you know, once a week and enough money where I, where I could take like one nice vacation a year. That would be it. You know, I think most people would be content with that. And uh, now money, of course, doesn't, doesn't buy, you know, emotional contentment. It doesn't buy uh, friends or anything like that. In fact, money can make it where you're less likely to trust people if you have a lot of money. But at the same time, it can make it easier to get those things because you can go to more places and be in more environments where you're more likely to make friends. If you, if you can if you can afford to, to leave your house, you're more likely to make friends than if you can't afford to leave your house. So money can contribute to that, but it will not in and of itself provide that. And so, uh, so I, I will say that that there's a base level that everyone need uh, of of money or income that everyone needs in order to be happy. But they, but beyond that, it do, it won't, that doesn't happiness money doesn't buy happiness when you get beyond a certain point when you just have an excess level of money to spend on frivolous things. Then no. Although I will admit that if I had an excess amount of money, if I did, if I did, I would probably spend it on having a. You know, one house would be enough for me, but let's say I did have a lot of money, and this is like fantasizing about, you know, be having superpowers. I would probably um, have multiple homes, like per, nothing extravagant, but multiple homes per season, like around the world. Like, I would I would like to have, if I had a lot of money, I would have four homes. I would have a, 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 a spring home, a winter home, an autumn home, and a summer home. You know, my uh, my winter home might be in Florida. My spring home, I would like to have one home where I'm from in Kentucky. Might be, might be here. I mean, I mean, not this house, but I would live here. And then I would like to have. A, I would. I've always wanted to possibly live in England, so that would be my summer home. And then my autumn home, I've always wanted. To, I've always wanted to have a home in New England, like maybe um, Connecticut or New Jersey, uh, uh, some some place that's maybe no more than an hour away from New York City or something. But uh, now, my big homes would probably just be in Kentucky and uh, and Connecticut or New Jersey. I'm and I may have a, a, a smaller condo in Florida and maybe a flat or something that or or a, or a penthouse in England. But again, this is just this is just uh, frivolous speculation on my part. And it, if I were a billionaire, like if I if I had that much money, uh, I might uh, I, I might finance because I, it, it would require me to be a billionaire. I might. Finance my the only extravagant thing I might do is finance my my own uh, movie like an adaptation of my book where I could control everything, 
And yeah, you would have to be a billionaire to do that because such such a venture could cost very easily at least a hundred million dollars. Um, so, uh, but again, that, that but I wouldn't. I'm not the kind of person, though, who would go around, you know, buying uh, expensive yachts, expensive cars, or anything like that. That's just not the kind of thing that I'm interested in. I would probably buy a lot of little things, a lot of uh, mainly books and movies, you know, and maybe some collectible action figures, or, or, I might buy some like anti antiques or um, like rare books or like first editions of things. That's something I might do. But I, but in terms of like buying things just to buy them no that's not something that i would do but in terms of being content i would only like to have maybe one house that is my own that i can that i can take pride in and that that and and have enough room where i can have have my stuff in separate rooms and go on maybe one nice vacation a year that that's what i would need to be content anything else would just be uh would be excess you know to me